So this is the final evening of our epic, epic trip and it's been so good. We've had lunch after a long, hard, arduous hike and the guides here, not the guides, the mountain hut staff or owner have been so friendly. They even gave us free champagne to say congratulations on completing such an epic few days. So we've had dinner, we're just heading up to the small hill behind our hut to catch the last of the evening light and it is absolutely stunning. We are short on time, it's a bit of a rush as is the case because dinner always coincides with photography time and that is a shame but today we've done really well and we have time. So one last push up this hill and we should get some gorgeous, gorgeous evening sunset images. Right, let's go. I'm tired in oh so many ways. Been gone for seven days. I don't know why I can't explain. So we're all at the top of this peak behind our cabin and it's just gorgeous. We've got like 360 views and the sun is just setting almost directly west. And the, the, the trick is picking out the composition that, you, that works best for you. So we have a mountain peak just over here and it's just catching the last light, the pink light, the last rays of the day. It really caught my eye, the shapes of the ridges and the light catching the peak at the, at the very top. And it's, it's nice. It's definitely worth shooting. So let's have a look here. I've got a polarizer on, my mini polarizer, and I'm shooting this F9, two second timer, gorgeous bit of light, and a lovely image, well worth capturing. So that's it, we're about done here. The light was nice, it was nice. You know, it was worth coming out and shooting. I'm gonna be honest, this mountain range behind us, that is what we're here for, and that is a composition for tomorrow morning. So we're gonna go back to the hut, we're gonna drink our free champagne, we're gonna drink our red wine, and we're gonna celebrate the achievement that we have achieved this, this weekend, because we have had an epic few days and everyone should be so proud. So for now, we will be merry but we will be back here tomorrow morning for sunrise. I'm tired in oh so many ways. Yeah, we're gonna open the champagne uh, to honor like our collective achievement of getting to know each other and getting to know one another and doing photography together and having excellent guides in Jonas and Veronica and an excellent photography guide in Thomas Heaton. We put in many kilometers, over 50 I think, and many meters of elevation gain Many of them were very hard. And there we go. Oh, oh no, my phone is focusing on your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> So one by one this morning, we all left the mountain refuge, all slightly tired, some of us slightly hungover. But we're all here now at this gorgeous, gorgeous peak to see a new day begin. And it's that new day that's gonna give us an awesome image because the mountains you can see behind me, they are gonna catch the first rays of sunlight from today. And the sun is just rising almost directly to the east and these mountains are almost directly to the west so I'm hoping that we get a direct hit.
and that'll be awesome. Now I have shot this scene before at sunrise but I wasn't happy with it. I wasn't happy with it because it was very, very windy and my images were not sharp. I did a panoramic of the sunlight hitting the peaks of the mountains and the wind was blowing so hard and I was shooting at such a long focal length that my images when stitched together were soft. And that's a shame. So I'm here again and I'm gonna reshoot it. Fair enough, it's not on the 5D Mark IV, but still, even on this M5, the panoramic should work quite well and give me enough detail, enough resolution to have a, a rather nice image. I just hope that in fact we do get the light hitting the mountains and we don't get snuffed out by any clouds because there still are a few clouds knocking around, but we should be okay. Yeah, this is uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm tired, it's cold, but seriously, I don't think I'd rather be anywhere else. So I'm happy to report that the light is hitting the mountains just as we'd hoped. A gorgeous pink light all around us. The difficulty is actually not stopping to shoot absolutely everything that we see because it's just phenomenal. So I am going to attempt to shoot this panoramic now. I have no L bracket on this camera so you can see I've tilted it, used the ball head and tilted it to the side. Not a problem. I just had to be extra vigilant when leveling my tripod and leveling everything off. So this is a straight shot, no filters. I daren't use a polarizer because I worry about the, the white arc that you get as you shoot at wider angles with a polarizer. And because I am doing a panoramic, this is a wider angle. So as per usual, this is straightforward, probably nine images, panoramic, two second timer between each image and just exposing for the light that's now hitting the peaks of the mountains. I've checked my focus, everything's set, there's nothing else to do but take the images. As the sun rose over the mountains for the last time, I was able to breathe a sigh of relief as we headed back to the refuge for breakfast. This has been a workshop with many challenges, both physical and mental, and I believe that we've all learned something along the way. These are troubles of mine Where we thought of breaking up Coming under your skin the hike down to the village was quiet as we all reflected on our time and our achievements. That and we were all absolutely knackered after four days of hiking, dawn starts and lots of red wine. The group had one final lunch together and Tom and Lauren even joined us. We shared memories, shared a meal and before long it was all over and I was back on the train to the airport where I had time to reflect myself and realise that even though there were many challenges, none of them broke our spirit. It's now time to say goodbye to Switzerland and start the next adventure. <laughs>